Greetings and welcome back to Monster Legends. Alright, so our two Forsaken mazes are now behind us. And now we have a Forsaken race. A very Forsaken race. We also have something else, so let's just go to the news very quickly. We'll start with this. We have a 72-hour challenge. This, of course, is card flipping using coins that you uh, collect. And frequently, it will be the last one where the monster is. Well, that's where it is for me. I'm not bitter or anything. No, I'm not. Um, yeah, anyway, the only way you can get coins for this one is through multiplayer wins. And the number of coins you get for wins is going to depend upon your multiplayer rank. So that's usually the way it works, and I'm assuming it's going to be the same way. So if you're higher rank, it's going to be a lot easier for you to get the coins. But if you're all the way up there, maybe victories are a little bit tougher to get. We'll have to see about that. Anyway, uh, let's move on to, of course, the Hydro Market Marathon. Because the last marathon was so much fun. All right, I'll start it by this. Apparently, they have stated that this is not going to be a repeat of Pumpkin Seed. It's going to be significantly easier. We'll see about that. All right, anyway, here's the guy right now in the center. This is Krabby Droid. How long did it take him to come up with that name? Anyway, he is, of course, a water creature. He is Forsaken. He is a control monster, so he's got all kinds of things for control. He can also do some torture effect as well. And he's got a weird thing with thunder. We're going to talk about that. And, of course, an evolving trait. I don't have as much as I would usually have for this guy, but I do have something. We'll talk about it when we look at the race. The Marathon. All right, first things first. Let's go to the uh, this here. Yeah, I, I couldn't care less. When I looked this up, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be skipping this. See, when, you, when they do this, it kind of messes me up because it's going to drive up my trophy count in PvP, making videos a lot harder to do with, with um, viewer teams. But, you know, if there's somebody that really I want to go for and, you know, like not get in the last tile, I'll do it. But in this case, I'm like, no, I, I don't care. I'm going to be skipping this. I'll just use whatever coins I get to try to get some things inside, maybe get some gems. But other than that, I, I don't care. They've made these individuals completely obsolete. All they're useful for is like breeding combinations to get real monsters, if you know what I mean. Before we get to the big thing, there was a couple of other things going on, at least one other they have a breeding going on right now. This is like a Cyber Monday breeding. So unfortunately, it's only got like 12, like well, 13 hours left. And it's this combination. Even if you fail, you're going to get cells for um, a new Buki, right? I think it says that. You get 10 if you, even if you fail. I tried it. I failed. I'll get my 10 cells. That's all I care about, right? Because my uh, temple is not ready. And besides my hatchery, I've been just starting to clear it out now right just starting to clear it out now and as a result i wasn't able to help a lot early on with the race i am now so that's i'm not going to clog it up again that's i took my one shot and that's it and it was a failure matter of fact i think that it was a rare if my memory was right i think it was a rare it's still in there now but i have no intention of activating my breeding temple for that yeah let's just not wait anymore why don't we just go on in all right all right, so this is the Hydro Market Marathon. Just, I'm just going to stress that, marathon, right? Okay, so this is the individual at the center of it. Like I said, I don't have a lot of information, but I do have this. Okay, so this is Krabby Lord. Of course, you can see the little symbol over here. He is a mem the third member of the Forsaken that we have seen. He's a legendary, he's water, he's from the sea, he's mechanical, and he, of course he's into adventuring. Looking down at his trait, he, at rank 1, he's tough. Tough means you have a 35% chance to resist negative status effects. If you rank him up to rank 1, he also gets freeze immunity. Now if you rank him up to rank 3, he also gets trait protection, so you can't disable his trait. 
And then at rank 5, he's actually going to give, start the battle by giving shock to the other team, or at least attempting to do that, unless they resist it, right? It'll be a status cast. So, I mean, at the moment, that's what I have. Normally, they make a graphic available. I've shown it in the past that has the tier 4 skills, and he does have tier 4 skills, right? They didn't do that for him this time around. And it's not a matter of, well, they haven't done it yet. Usually, they're out a couple of days before the events begin. I mean, they have one for, I think his name is Ursus, the one who's in the legendary pass for December. I mean, they have his. By the way, he's like a bear. He seems to be kind of a damage dealer. He's got pierce and such like that. His, his, stats are, his skills are a little bit weird, though. I might mention that back uh, when we look at that. Um... So the thing is that he does have control stuff. He freezes, he stuns, he's got, I think he's got trait protection. I think that's for himself. Yeah, that's the one down there, right? Um, he's also got some weird combinations of things that I just don't get. Now, early on, he can make somebody susceptible to thunder damage, which kind of makes sense since he's water. You figure you splash water on somebody, and they're far more susceptible to uh, lightning or thunder or something like that. But he himself can use thunder attacks, multiple ones, which doesn't make any sense because he's a water creature. I mean, that's the equivalent of an Ent having a flame strike coming out of his finger. It wouldn't end well for him. So I could understand him doing metal stuff. It's just thunder doesn't make any sense considering he's a water creature and he doesn't look like he's going to be walking on land with that whole apparatus he has underneath there. It's a little weird. He has a tier four skill that gives thunder weakness and then does a group thunder attack, which is kind of powerful, I suppose. But, I mean, he's got a lot of good skills. He's got one skill that tries to stun everybody, then tries to freeze everybody, and then I think gives them another torture effect. I forget which one it was. It might be Drowned. It might be Drowned. Um, he does a lot of that. So, I mean, he's got some good stuff. You know, is it as good as, say, um, Wild Bird? I don't really think so. It's about on par with Wicca, I would say, in terms of strength. So I'm guessing they just made uh, Wild Bird as the first one. They made him really powerful. So anyway, he obviously is good. I mean, if you're interested in getting him, well, it's up to you. Remember, your team is the sole individuals responsible for this. You're not competing against anybody else, but you do need to get the lap 15. If you get the lap 15, then you can get him, right? And um, rank ups from then, if you want to get him ranked up once, you have to get to 25, right? So, yeah, I mean, it's not going to be easy for most teams to do this. It's going to be kind of challenging. But if you, uh, you don't, well, let's just talk about that. Let's say your team qualifies and gets to lap 4, right? That means you're going to get Nautilus, you know, I think I have 12 him, of eggs of him sitting in the uh, my, my vault. There's just been so many opportunities to get him. But if you're new to the game and you don't have, like, a good epic, there's a good epic. Probably one of the better ones, just because of the way one of his skills works, you know? Don't want to go into detail because I don't want them to fix it. You know what I mean? But uh, definitely a very good epic to get if you don't have epics and you're starting this game new, right? Very good one to get. All right, now, if you get to rank 8, but you don't get to 15, it's not really that bad. You get Kozarg. Okay, Kozarg, I, know, I just went and looked up some of his stuff. He appears to be a damage dealer. He's only got one group attack, but it does do drowning and such. But the big thing that he's got, is that he starts the battle with a status cast, which gives your team area dodge, which is kind of really good, actually. It means that group attacks won't hit them. So that means that unless they dispel it, if they try to use group denial or group anything like that, it's just going to miss. So he's a good guy to have in there. Like I said, he's got one significant group attack and a lot of other attacks that are really, like, seriously hard-hitting. They do drowning and such like that. So, I mean, he's got some good stuff going for him. So, that's, in terms of booby prizes, I said this in the past, in terms of booby prizes, he's not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Especially since I don't have him, right? 
But obviously, you want to go for Krabby Droid, right? And how do you do that? Well, you got to complete these missions over here on the right, right? Your team has to do them. You do the um, you do the three, and then you get three more, right? You have to complete all three of them in order to get the next three. So your team has to work on this. As you see right now, uh, we're waiting for two other people to complete this middle one over here. And when it does, we'll move on. See, this is kind of a tricky one here. I had to blow some gems to get that going for my one. But uh, when you get to the ones that 15 people must do this or 15 people must do that, those can be very frustrating if you don't have team members who are just going in and collecting the food, feeding a monster, hatch one individual, something like that. You know, it's the reason keep all of your money up, keep all of your farms with your best food available up. That way, when, the, when those quest items come up, you can do something about it, right? You can just do something about it. So the thing about it is that so far we've been moving along pretty well. Those have been going pretty well. So um, we're off to a good start. We're very, it says ranked to where was it? Where was it? Um, oh, actually, I got to go back this way. We are, we're just like a hair away from lap two, which isn't too bad in the grand scheme. I think we're down here at nine. So I'm hoping that we can get to lap 15 and get this guy. It really depends. Is it easier? Well, I guess we're going to find out in six days and 12 hours. Actually, we'll probably find out before then. Uh, I would very much like to get this guy. We're going to have to see whether or not we can do it or not. Um, we, I'm sure that there are other individuals who are already well on their way. So let's just see if we can see what the other teams are doing right now. Here we are. Okay, usual suspects, and a bunch of people already have him there, like right there, the top six already have him, after just basically several hours, I would guess, right? But like I said, usual suspects, usual suspects. So, I mean, the thing about it is we'll see how, how it works out. Uh, they are doing the marathon again, as opposed to getting it at rank 10, like they previously did. And also, in order to rank it up once, you have to get to rank 25, I don't know. I guess we're going to have to see how it plays out. I'm guessing that the individuals in those teams who are like, for instance, way ahead, they'd have a better idea of how it's looking at this point. So maybe they can say so in the comments or something like that. Anyway, that's going to be running for a full week, you know, uh, six, hour, six and a half days at the time of recording. So we'll see how that works out. In terms of the 72-hour uh, the, the maze I mentioned, yeah, I couldn't care less. I hate to say that, but I mean... I mean, it, it makes it so that the older creatures are just useless now because they keep flooding us with new individuals. Let me say something. I've already been deleting uncommons and then rares that I have, um, rares that I have eggs for that I haven't ranked up. And I'm going to probably start moving on to epics then too because the thing about it is they keep giving us all these new creatures even though I'm not getting all of them. But they keep flooding us with them. So I really wish they would maybe consider fixing some of the older ones to make them a little bit more relevant, you know? I understand that they have been jacking up the life of the newer creatures. One of the reasons is because relics can outright kill things these days, you know? If everybody has the ones that you can just take away, then they just kill the other side. As I understand it, that's the motivation for boosting the life. But that leaves the older creatures out in the cold, you know? And that makes it very difficult for people to start playing this game, you know? So let's hope maybe we get a little less on the new creature front and a little bit more on the fixing the older ones. Which reminds me, of course we have this now. Um, Thalassa is now the monster of the month. I should say the war, the war master of the month, right? And they have a new one for the small price of $20. Right. All right. So this fellow up here, Ursus, I think his name is, right? I think I mentioned him. Um, yeah, they actually have a thing available for him, but I'm not going to show it because I'm not selling their stuff. Um, but as I understand it, he's, yeah, Pierce. He's got Pierce attack. Oh, he, has a, he does have one extra turn skill. As I seem to remember, it was, um, it might have been the other guy. You know, I was looking at the skills at the same time. The other guy has a, um, I'm talking about uh, Krabby Droid. He's got a skill that gives the group Sea Hater and then um, 
precision and then an extra turn. I think he's got something similar to that, but just for him. But uh, anyway, so this guy is obtainable free, which is good for me because that's how I intend to get him. Wait a minute. Oh, you can get her uh, thing there. All right. Um, seven, huh? Just a seven. Okay, fine. And here he is. At, are they going to give less opportunities to get that? Because I seem to... Oh, okay. It goes the same distance. It just I guess it's easier to get him. But I also guess that means it's less rewards this time. I don't think so. I think they just compressed them. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, if this is up here is something that you want to do, then that's fine. Do it. Uh, just don't, uh, if you make a decision one way or another, just kind of stick to it and don't be uh, manipulated. I did notice that some of these challenges, oh, wow, what's going on here? A little bit out of formatting there. Yeah, some minor formatting issues here. Um, I did notice that they added some new ones here that I wasn't overly happy about. They added a lot of breeding combination things. And considering that my um, habitats are usually stuffed with things, this does not make me happy. I realize this takes place over the period of a month, but I wish we'd stay away from the breeding things. You know, hatching, hatching you can do those very easily, and you're going to do them anyway. But you're asking me to do specific ones here that I wouldn't do otherwise. And if I get stuck with like a rare or an epic doing one of these combinations, you know, locking up my hatchery for a while here. So I'm not overly happy about that. I wish they would stay away from that and not add any more. The, the multiplayer combinations are fine. I'll find teams that can win, but yeah, let's not do the breeding thing. All right, so let's go to war. Uh, by the way, we're going to lose this war. Real, really going to lose this war. It looks kind of close, but I don't know if we can scratch any more of this. There's a lot of, um, a lot of, what's names around here? A lot of Dunraz and other stuff. What about you? I think you had like insane stats. Yeah, I can't, I can't do that. I cannot do that. Although, yeah, you know, the problem with this is the, um, the cane would probably be able to kill my Dunra. Now, I'm, I'm going to go on the wisdom of my team and say that that one is still 15 for a reason. Uh, I'd rather not do that. Let me just see. I, 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 di I did a fight and I won, but you know, I was actually getting warnings about there's, you know, this match is going to expire in 15 minutes. That's how long it was going on for. Um, that one looks like a terrible idea. Yep, that one looks awful. Okay, that one has got nothing left. Is that it? Am I going to have to pick something? All right, I can't fight dad. Okay, I can't fight dad. What do you have? Let's do that. I know I'm asking for trouble, but I'm going to die anyway, so let's just die, right? Okay, uh, what did you just do? Oh, corrupted. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's see. I must scream. Okay, the only one of them was... Okay, that was a mistake on my part. I could have taken off the negative status effects, too. Okay, I can't do anything about Elvira, but I can certainly do something about you. All right, let's see. I can also hit you kind of hard, too, so... Okay, uh, you, just, could you just charge... Thank you. That's awesome. All right, let's think. This is the one that I should have done, and I didn't. Okay, she resist. Oh, she's immune to blind. Blindness isn't going to work on them. And it's all well. Actually, yeah, it actually worked out good for me because it all went to Cleo, and Cleo has the uh, you know immunity to corrupt there. Okay, let me think. Uh, remove positive... St See, the blindness isn't going to work because Elvira is there. Remove positive... St I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that one. All right, let's just protect ourselves from control. All right. Whale Hunter. I want to get rid of him. Elvira doesn't scare me by herself. Uh, let's do this. You keep doing that. You just keep on doing that. 
All right, uh, a little bit of curse to go around. Okay, she didn't want the curse. She's finicky. Um, I might as well just give her the nanovirus, unless she didn't want it. Okay, there is no way you're going to kill her in time. All right, let's see. Okay, what? I gave you something. What was it? Mental weakness. Not useful. Not useful. All right, let's do some whale hunter again. And boom. Okay, a little bit of extra stamina there. All right, let's add drown to your problems, hopefully. All right, and uh, can I get some bleed? Oh, did you? You didn't get the curse, but I can't do the curse to you. Uh, hold on a minute. Um, I'm probably about to lose that, so I'm going to redo my uh, Megaton. All right, let's think about this. Um, I mean, did she get the nanovirus? I don't think so. The blind is useless. Okay, um, I missed that one. Okay, I'm just going to charge. All right, and let's do this again. And boom. Okay, and then charge. I guess the, uh, the banner is worn off. All right, let's add a little bit of bleeding. Okay, she didn't want to bleed. I mean, there's nothing she can do at the moment. But she didn't have to do anything. Yeah, I mean, those, those fights are like endurance battles there, you know? Unfortunately, that was my best team, although I will have Elvira for the other one. Do I want to do this? Oh, no, absolutely not. Actually, there's no damage there, but there is just so much annoyance there. Yeah, but, you know, what are the chances of me being able to beat something else? All right, well, let's just try. All right, obviously, for winged, I am going with... I have to counter with my own Elvira, right? All right, so what am I doing here? I have an idea if he's here. I'm pretty sure he's in this book. At least I hope he is. Nope, I guess not. All right, so he's not here. I was hoping... I wasn't sure if Wang Zhou was going to be there. He's in metal. I wasn't sure if he was a mechanical or not. Toshiro, Group X. Let me think. Who do I want to throw in here? I, I guess I could go Hornet. Hornet would be an interesting way to go here. But I think Patient Cyber would be the best one. Who has the most speed? I think that my Hornet has the most speed. All right. I'm probably going to regret that, but we'll see what happens. Now, over here is I'm a little bit on the limited side. So I think... Oh, I know where to go with this one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Because I need damage. There's no extra turners over here, but... I, this isn't going to end well, by the way. I think we know this. Oh, you're actually going first. Okay, I guess you guys have so many things that it got pushed off the end. Yeah, all right. Um, let's see. Don't you have... Remove negative status effect... Oh, ne that's from us. I don't want to do that. Um, remove positive status effect. Oh, here we go. Removes positive status effects from all enemies, applies nanovirus. All right, I don't think this attack is going to hit. But it did take off the... Um, okay, unfortunately, Hornet... Well, Hornet's going to dodge all group attacks. That's a good thing about Hornet. All right, uh, let's see whether or not we can get the sunburn going. That would be nice. Okay, well, Thalassa got it. All right, let's think about this. I guess I could get you all bleeding, right? Activate cooldowns. What level is Thalassa? 
100. Okay, that means she doesn't have the Mega Freeze, right? Good question. I'm going to do that. All right. And oh, you're up again. All right. Now, unfortunately, you guys are all immune to blindness, which is really annoying. Immunity to control and torture to all allies. Hold on to that one. Uh, minor blind and shock. I'm going for the shock. All right. Can I kill you? Yes. Good. Oh, hello. Removes 50% of total life from enemies, applies nanovirus and shock. Um, yeah? Okay, I guess you're, that's right, you're immune to control, so you cannot be, uh, this isn't working out very well for you two, is it? No. All right, and boom. No stamina required. Okay, I didn't think I was going to win that one, but I did. All right, but we do seem to um, have a bit of an issue here. Uh, they have a lot of really strong stuff up here, so I don't know if we're going to win. You know, the thing about it is that we have about six hours until the new season begins, and I would really rather have had this loss before then. Because I really don't want to be in the Legendary League again. I'm really hoping we can dodge that bullet. Because that 8 hour cooldown is just so very annoying. And I want to get away from it. Okay, so what's left? Well, PvP. So let's go and do that. So once again, I had a lot of teams to choose from. Which is a wonderful thing. So uh, we do have some strong ones though. So that's the thing. Alright, so let's uh, go in here and set up our first team. Our first team was suggested by Okina Matara. Hope I said that right. And Okina wanted to see down here his royal purpleness. And then we're going over to fire. And this is going to be, well, oh, there she is, Sophia. And then over to Magic, who's probably right on top, and that's going to be Kronika. So maybe she's going to be babying while there's, like, torture effects going on. We'll see how that works out. All right. Yeek. Um, hey, look, there's a refresh button up there. Okay, we could probably take any of these teams. There's not really denial there on the, um, the left so, you know, basically Kronika could just basically have her way with them. I think the one up the middle would be the most challenging fight. Um, we don't have the strongest individuals behind Kronika, but we do have some stuff. So let's go. Let's see what we can do. Obviously, she's going first. And probably not too long after that. All right. Um... Obviously, I'm, I can't hit either one of these individuals with triple damage. Let me think about that. I mean, if I was to stun Malair, does it make that much of a difference? Yeah, all right. Why don't we try this? I just think he's more useful to me if he's going to do triple damage, even if I only get it for one turn. All right, we're going to do a time freeze. Okay, so his next attack will be triple damage. Let's do this. All right, you're probably are you gonna you're not gonna do that. All right, I need uh, burning. Anybody immune to burning? Nobody immune to burning. All right. Okay, you're immune to control. Oh, and of course you took the torture effects off too. Um. I'm going to charge because I need Malaire to use his attack. Could you please stop that? Wow, that was incredibly annoying. Okay, I had no idea that you were capable of such things. 
Um, yeah, I could really use the... Uh, okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to baby you guys. Oh, that's right. You're immune to control. That was stupid of me. Uh, yeah, this did not go well, but let's face it. Once, um, once Prince was dead in that horrible fashion... Look at it. She's dead the next round. Oh, you did that to her. Okay, I, I guess I couldn't see the possession there. Okay, so that was a lot uglier than I thought it was going to be. I'm really sorry about that. I did not know um, that that individual was capable of such things. So, yeah, I should stay away from individuals that I don't know what they do, right? Sorry about that. All right, let's move on to our next team. Our next team was suggested by Amy Cabello. And Amy actually gave me five teams. I chose this one because it looked kind of interesting. All right, we're starting off in over in water, and then we're going over to, she's down, there she is, Ursula. Uh, next, we're going with somebody I'm sure she'll get along very well with. And I say that sarcastically. Um, Angelina. They have really cool names, after all. And finally, the individual who does not have a really cool name, Geb. So we have Ursula, Angelina, and Geb. All right, so obviously pretty strong. When we have a Megaton tank, it's just strong by definition. Um, the levels are good up the middle, but there's no denial there. So yeah, no, no, no. I could do the team on the left. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, let's go. Oh, you didn't know she was immune to freezing. How very terrible for you. Uh, why don't you guys... Um... Oh, activate cool. You guys have cooldown protection, so this isn't going to do anything regarding that. Um... I do, however, think the will die after three turns is probably good. Uh, do you have immunity? Oh, you have immunity to freezing in the front. Uh, your two friends don't. They really don't. Oh, look, he's got 74 stamina. He can almost use one of his skills. Um, I'm trying to think. Should I just do the uh, damage mirror? Yeah, we'll do the damage mirror. Okay, so... One curse? I guess they did. Oh, Deep War Master Fury. What do we have? Removes positive status effects from enemies. Disable trait on them. Oh, wow, that sucks to be you. Yep. Yay, you thought you couldn't be frozen, huh? You were mistaken. Yeah, that one really sucks, because they're just going to die, aren't they? Um, I mean, I might as well not even do that. There's no reason to. I mean, I, I honestly think they're just dead. Uh, why don't we just throw some drowning on top of that? Oh, they're already drowning. I mean, they're, they're all dead. Boom, you're dead. Okay, yeah, just kind of charge. Let them die. And, uh, yeah, yeah, just let them die. Oh, you're a little bit alive. And then you weren't. Okay, that is a really, really nasty special skill. And I'm going to get some points for an event I don't care about. Yippee! I don't care. Maybe I'll get some gems from it. Maybe I'll get some gems. You know, it's ironic that you never know. Maybe I get it on the fifth poll because I just don't even care. So that's the way I see it. All right, so let's uh, go with our third team. Our third team today was suggested by Samuel Fan. And Samuel gave me five teams, and this is the team that I chose. These last two teams are kind of tough. Of course, the previous one was tough too, right? All right, we're starting over in light. And we've seen the light. And in the light, there is Lance. Uh, next, we're going spiritual. 
Uh, no, 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 we're not going there. He's not that spiritual. Um, and we're going over to Dave. And finally, also in the light, and also a, where is she? A war master. All right, so we got two war masters and Lance. So we'll see how that works out. I think we can try to go after something tough here. Ooh, do I want to try up the middle? That's asking for a lot of trouble since I really don't know. You know what? Let's just do it because we got some strong stuff here. If we lose, we lost against a strong... Oh, well, that's just... I'm sorry. Really, I am. Yeah, you know, I just remembered that um, Wormlad can go through... Um, has positive status effects, can he? All right. Okay, that was fun, I said sarcastically. Uh, let's see. How to kill your dragon. Are, are you, I, I guess I have to hit... Um, I have to hit... Um, Corot Brutalis. I don't have a choice in the matter, right? War of Ages. Removes positive status effects and deals massive damage to all enemies and positive effects protection to all. Okay, all right, all right. I'll do that with my last one. All right, we're done. Actually, he's going to get... No, no, he's not going to get evasion from that. All right, hold on a minute. All right, as much as I'd like to do curse... I think this is probably a better idea. Oh, you were in mega taunt mode. I didn't realize that. Okay, well, guess what you guys don't have now. All right. Um, should I get rid of him? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of him. Okay. Thank you. Oh, he no longer has enough to do that now. Ah, that's a big problem. All right, this. All right, he should be dead now. All right, uh, Archangel's Blessing. Actually, nobody is actually hurt, so there's no reason to do that one. Charge. Oh, did you clean all that off of him? How very... No. What did you... Oh, were you possessed? I guess you were possessed. All right. And death... Okay, I need to do a little bit more to you, don't I? Uh, war cry. Ouch. And then death door. Oh, that's terrible. Whatever will we do? Oh, error of forgiveness. Oh, wow. What? Oh, she was she did she have a mega possession on? Okay, I guess maybe she did. All right. Um, how to kill your dragon? Oh, that's right. He's a, a dragon. He's also very annoying. All right. Now stay dead. He's very annoying. Okay, well, we won that one. That's what matters, right? Yay! I don't care. All right, so let's go with our fourth and final team, because this is running really long today. Our fourth and final team was suggested by Eduardo Plays. And Eduardo wanted to see over in Fire... We're going with Bram, and then over in Metal, we're going with Karen, and then over in Darkness, of course, I said this was going to be a strong team, boom, Cleo. Let's see, team on the right wouldn't stand a chance. Team up the middle wouldn't stand a chance. Um, do I want to do that? All right, let's try this one. This, this may be biting off way too much because um, 
It really depends. If my rack gives us a good uh, protection, it might work out all right. It's just that one thing I'm going to see we're going to have a problem with is killing the... Um, actually, that's going to be hard. Killing the Flamerion is going to be really difficult. You know what? I can't do that one. I'm thinking because he's going to do a group attack really strong, and that's just going to kill Cleo really outright. So let's just try again. Because there's something I can do about him. That's the problem. All right. Um, up the middle? I don't know about that one. One more try. That's asking for trouble. Team on the right, let's ask for trouble. Okay, so we have a distinct speed advantage here. It's also important that he not get to um, do his Megaton, right? What did you give us? Damage Mirror, what did you get? Trade Protect. Could you put the Damage Mirror over on Cleo? That would have been awesome. Just saying. All right, I must scream. Okay, a Mega Stun down here. Very good. Okay, we actually have two Mega Stuns. Did you get anything? Like a Metal Weakness. Really? Okay, do you have... You have Curse Countdown. It's a good thing you're really slow, right? All right, let's think. I think I could do something about that. Um, well, solo hits are going to go to you, so... But you don't have it. What do you have on you? One life. Okay. Well, you know, if you're going to put him on your defense team, you should probably do better than that. Yeah, just kill him. Um, did you activate his cooldowns? I guess you did activate his cooldowns, right? All right. A uh, little bit of bleeding over here, maybe. All right, let's think. Um... Immunity control and tortures, maybe that's a good idea, considering who's on the other side. Do you still have... You still have the curse countdown. Yeah, of course you do. Um, remove positive status effects. Remove positive status effects. Well, I mean, this one will give some total blindness and some guard down, right? Okay, you still have mega... You have, mega, you have blindness, total blindness, you have mega stun. All right. Uh, which makes her a higher priority? Yeah. And boom, you're dead. Nobody dies. Everybody lives. And, of course, three... Okay, so that's okay. See, I like those, the multiplayer ones, but just stay away from the breeding ones. Those are just annoying. Wow, what a shocker. I bet you're having fun doing that. And we're done. All right, so we have a race going on over here, otherwise known as a marathon, of course, because it's 15 laps to get the creature. And uh, as I said, make sure you check in with your team as often as possible for those 15 people must do this or 15 people must do that because they can be very frustrating for the rest of the team because they don't get the opportunity to work on the important ones. You don't want to spend gems on those when they're easy for the team to do if the team is just participating, right? Anyway, we'll see how this works out. They say it's easier than the previous one. We'll see if that's true. Like I said, I'm sure that there are players already who can tell us if that's true or not. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.